One Jackson resident has taken it upon himself to start cleanup efforts throughout the capital city, and now he's gaining attention not just from citizens, but city officials as well. Locke Ward has now raised thousands of dollars and other donations for his work to clean up. Three in your sides, Nathan Lee joins us live with from one of those cleanup spots with more details. Nathan. Yes, this area behind me here was once full of trash, mud and weeds just last week. Now you can see here behind me, it's looking a lot better. And that's all thanks to Lock Ward. And Lock Ward did not expect we would be here as he says he was just one man with one idea, with a passion to help clean up the city he's lived in his entire life. Lock Ward started his efforts back in November last year on a frontage road off of I-55. He has been driving I-55 his entire life and had slowly seen the trash build up, which inspired him to start this work. Years and years of decay, basically. I kept driving by the same spot over and over again, and I came home and I told my wife one day, I said, I am sick and tired of looking at all this trash, and I came home and I said, I'm going to clean this little area up myself. And then, to be honest, it's just kind of snowballed on me. I'm not doing this to make money. I am uh, I'm doing this basically just just because I was tired of looking at all the trash. He wants to expand his efforts, though. He now has a church volunteer group who is working on Woodrow Wilson on the weekends. These efforts have now raised over $50,000, which led him to create a nonprofit to continue this work. Businesses in the area have been outspoken about Ward's work and can't thank him enough. Locke has taken the bull by the horns. He's really gotten out. Uh, he's uh, been a proven leader. He said, you know what, if somebody's not going to do this, I'm going to go out and do it myself. It was heartwarming, you know, to see someone pouring themselves into this community and trying to make an effort. While the Mississippi Department of Transportation highlights the risks of these efforts, they are thankful as it helps their cleanup work as well. As a, both an MDOT employee and a Jacksonian, uh, we really appreciate those efforts. It is a big help to us as we have crews that have got to maintain 22 counties in this central district and they can't devote every day to picking up um, specific areas of Jackson's. MDOT and the city have now started their work with Lock Ward to make all of his efforts fully legal, putting in part that he will be working as uh, for the city. And now you can also donate to his GoFundMe page in this with a link on this web story at WLBT.com. Reporting in Jackson, Nathan Lee, three on your side.